So let's talk about it. Oh, I've talked to a couple of people about um, 2022, right? Preparing for 2022. And one of the things that everybody does for 22, yeah, got to get this head done, y'all. Just rock out with me. Uh, preparing for 2022 and so many people are like, you know, I want to try something different. I want to do something different. I don't know what it is. I want to, you know, sell things. I want to, whatever the case, you know, I just want to encourage you, man. Perfect your craft. What I, what you already have and what God has already prepared for you. I'm about to do a live real quick with my pastor's wife connection. Letting them know, use what you got, man. Use what God has given you uh, to do and perfect that thing. How do you perfect that thing? Number one, of course, you got to plan, prepare, and, you know, pursue what you're doing. But I would also say, number two, perfect your craft. How do you perfect? perfect your craft. You got to be willing to invest in yourself. Invest in where you're going. Invest in someone that's doing it better than you. In 2019, I made it, 2015 really, I made a decision to invest in what I was doing in that season and at that time. I invested in a woman with my books. I invested in becoming a life coach because I knew I wanted to empower and encourage people. I invested in making sure uh, last year, 2019, 2020, I invested in my mentor, Nona Jones. I invested in one of her classes that allowed me to be able to catapult some things that I'm doing in Butterfly Academy Mentorship. Uh, right now, about to invest in, just invested today into someone else that's going to help us in the next venture in our life. And this time I'm super excited. Why? Because my husband is coming on. I'm not an expert. I don't know everything, but I do know my experience and what has helped me throughout the years in catapulting is learning that I don't got to try nothing different, nothing new. Just perfect what I've already been doing. What do you mean by that? If you do hair, if you are, um, you know, you have your own business or whatever you're doing, do that and do it to where you learn something else different about that. Learn about hair. If you're doing hair, learn. I really can't tell you about hair. I can only tell you my experience. I started a YouTube page 2015, went from there, then started, uh, let me take that back, 2010, started a women's ministry 2011. And with that women's ministry, I was able to empower and encourage women. So I no longer, I was like, man, this is awesome. This is great. And seeing the their lives change and seeing them, you know, uh, catapult into what God had called them to be in that time and that season. I was like, wait, I would love to do this outside of my church. So then I started a YouTube page outside of my church. Other things maneuvered and happened and great things happened. And through all of that, seeing those lives change, I learned now that all of that I needed to be able to get where I am. But it had to be perfecting my craft, learning, okay, if I'm going to write a book, I need to find out who's out there writing the book. All right. I followed a girl by the name of Carla Arcanon, found out, okay, I see that she knows how to write books and she's wrote a couple of books. Then God connected me with other people that wrote books before, homegirl Candace Harris, love of the dead. She's a part of my team now for my book publishing company wrote a book and now have a book publishing company started a page and now empowering women all over you just whatever the lord give you you enough just know you enough know that you're enough you what god gave you uh i'm ready to share with these women i might just share clip it snippet of what i'm gonna share with them tonight but just to let you know man you are enough god gave you something when he created you in his image he gave you something to be able to create and be able to empower and encourage. I share with someone, somebody asks, okay, well, you know, I just want to be a CEO and make money. It's really not about that. It's about serving God's people. And I know that sounds cliche. I know you're like, oh my God, you're yeah, right. But no, it is. When you're able to serve others and you're able to serve others while serving others, God will bless you. God will open doors for you. But you got to have the heart for, for God's people. First of all, if you love elderly people, man, I know that it's in you eventually take the process, whatever. I know it's in me to help other women, not just, you know, uh, on social media, but I believe the guy has other stuff in store. But in order for me to do that, I got to be able to invest in where I'm going in this season because I don't know what the next season is going to go, going to come from. I know 10 years from now where, where, where I want to be, but I got to be able to perfect, perfect the craft that I already have. Just make it better. How do you make it better? You just do something different by learning what someone else does, but investing in what they know and what we're about to invest in come February. I'm so glad my husband is joining the journey with me of investing because it's going to catapult our family and other job opportunities for other people. It's just going to be amazing, man. So learn to perfect your craft 
And when you learn to perfect your craft, yeah, you can be all over the place and do different things. I've sold Mary Kay. I've sold um, um, other products. I tried the vacuum thing. I did everything. You know, I, it, not everything, but enough stuff. I know enough, one of the preachers said. I know enough, and I've done enough, but I don't know everything. But I do know this, that when you learn to perfect your craft, it turns into something different. Old book writer, now have a whole publishing company and a team that works with me, as well as mentorship programs that I've designed because I started a YouTube page. Come here that God has equipped me with, with the help of God, to be able to empower other women. I've done two so far on my way to do my third one, and about to complete my my fifth book all because I learned the importance of perfecting the craft again don't know everything I just know my experience and I pray that this has helped you perfect your craft don't go out there selling no candles and trying to sell no makeup and you don't even like makeup and sell no stuff that you don't even like sell or do what God has called you to do and eventually it'll turn into a profit that will be able to help the nation help people it depends on how far you want to go I tell everybody this and I'm done is that there is no lid to what God is about to do and has in store for you if you're willing to put in the work and do what it takes to make it happen. Cry a lot of a lot of tears, a lot of heartache, a lot of people coming against you. But at the end of the day, when you're doing what God called you to do, perfecting your craft, invest in that person that's going where you're going and watch them teach you some things. I'm so glad I took a Nona Jones class because now I know how to do a mentorship class myself, right? Now, and anyway, okay, invest in yourself by understanding, by perfecting your craft, what you already got. We're all different. We're all created different, but there's something strategically that is amazing about you that's watching that God wants to do to you, do for you and do through you, use you as a vessel to be his mouthpiece, to change lives. If it's helping elderly, whatever, change lives. Hey, until next time, make sure you stay blessed in all that you do and remember that you are a product of God's grace and God's mercy. When you learn to see yourself through God's eyes, not people. Pastor's wife, if you are watching this, go sign up for my Pastor's Wife mentorship class that is happening come March. Um, I don't know the date, but March. Look at my website, tanyaharden.com. Until then, stay blessed in all that you do. Bye-bye.